Welcome back to Comic Shop Talk here on Tales from the Flip Side. We're going to talk about some bolos today. Uh, when you're taking in collections, some stuff you might look for that looks like something else or something cheap, uh, but is worth a lot of money and that you need to be on the, out, on the lookout for. That's what a bolo means, be on the lookout. Uh, so we'll just get right into it, right? So a lot of this is going to be toys. Um, Comic books, I feel if you're opening a comic shop, you really know comics. I had a few ideas about some of the Bolo comics that a lot of people don't know about, but I didn't have an example to show. So I'll tell you that Marvel used to put out uh, a review uh, magazine for their, magazine and comic for their business. Um, it's called uh, Marvel Review and it looks like a comic book and when you open it, there's comic book art in it and stuff. But it is basically the sales projections and what the sales were the previous quarter. They did them in the early 90s. They were putting them out and uh, yeah. So they're, they get a good bit of money and they're hard to find. So keep an eye out for those. But so these were basically at your five and dime in the 70s. This is a uh, Fantastic Four supercars. They are super cheap, plastic, uh, just on a card with a little bit of plastic. Uh, this one's, of course, in a much better condition. So in this condition, it sells for like $275, and in this condition, maybe $150, $140 in, the, in that range. And you know, somebody bring them these, you know, you might pay $10 a piece for them or less uh, in a collection. But that's always a good find. Anything from the 70s on card is really good. I did have uh, one comic um, to show ash cans from the 90s. So when Image first started, uh, when they would go to the Comic Cons, the conventions, they would bring ash cans to hand out to people to get people into Image Comics. This one is Young Bloods. Um, a lot of times you can find them autographed. Um, you'll know Rob Liefeld's autograph because it looks like P. Wu. Uh, that is Rob Liefeld's autograph looks like P. Wu. If you look at it really close, zoom in there, see that P. Wu. So yeah, and like I got 150 on mine, but I think that it's, it probably could be up into the $300 range. Um, another thing that is, sells really well, uh, not a lot of people know about is anything wrappers. Hip hop is very popular because in the they didn't make a ton of it. So here's an Eminem action figure. So the Eminem action figure sells for about $150, uh, 130 to 150 dollars. Uh, there's three different ones. I recently I would have had three to show you, but I sold two and I just took in another one. So uh, that's really good. But you know Eminem's not as big as Snoop. Yeah, got a little bit of Snoop Dogg. And there's, I have both of these figures. I have the, uh, there's two different outfits. I have both, they're about 150 to 200 a piece, depending on condition. And you know, somebody brings this in, it looks like a Barbie doll. It's, you know, I mean, you know it's Snoop, but let you know right off the bat, it's gonna be money, good money. And then another $150 is Talking Master P. This looks like it comes from the Family Dollar or Five Below back in the day. But yeah, these go for about 150. They're hard to find, especially with the glasses and the hat in the box. So it's another thing to look out for. VHS has become starting to get popular. For me, I stick to horror, sci-fi, and certain documentary stuff like wrestling and any of the wrestling uh, VHS that were out there for like Starcade, uh, for the first um, SummerSlam, like all those. This is a uh, Night of the Living Dead. It's a two set. Uh, you know, I buy VHS for around 25 cents each and get a $10 bill for that. So that's, you know, that's a really good come up when you're buying them at you know, there are a lot that I have to throw away with it. So I probably got one or two dollars in each of the good VHSs I get to sell between five and $35 is where, the, where is a good range for those. 
Another thing to look out for is when you're doing your video games, five screw. Um, some of the video games, uh, the early ones were five screw and then the later ones were three screw of the same game. Five screw games get more money, so you gotta pay attention to that. Another thing, you're taking in game systems and you pay a regular rate for Xbox. A any one of the systems you pay a regular rate for, when it comes in, you say, okay, I pay $10 for an Atari. What you're looking for is this or other different Ataris. This one is the Darth Vader Atari, and this sells for around $146 compared to like this $50 to $75 range for depending on whether it's a Sears or a regular Atari or a four button versus six button uh, or switch, I mean. So there's a lot of different versions and they get a little bit different money, but this gets the most, the Darth Vader version. Um, and it's just, it's all blacked out. It doesn't say Darth Vader on it, it doesn't stay Star Wars. You just have to see this and see that this is all black and it's the Darth Vader version. And these are uh, pretty hard to come by. So that's something, uh, you know, you keep on the lookout, it comes in, you pay the regular $10 for it and you hit a home run. The, uh, another thing is, Oh, we go all the way back here. Um, you know, looks like a Barbie. Everybody knows it's a gem in the holograms. So this one's a little rough. I have some plastic damage on it and stuff, and this will get $250. If you had a mint, mint, cherry mint one, probably in the $300 range, uh, maybe even higher, depending. Uh, if you have a couple, so they have several different versions and she has her whole group. If you had the whole group, you might get a grand or more. So keep an eye out for Gem and the Holograms. Uh, they also had a mail away and I don't, I couldn't put my hands on it right now, but they had MTV jackets for that Gem and the Holograms. You had to cut out the, um, the proof of purchase and mail them away. And you got back an MTV uh, jacket for, for Gem and you know because she's a rocker then she got an mtv jacket those jackets sell about 25 dollars or more they're they're not there's not that many up on ebay so uh people that are looking for them will pay 25 maybe somewhere is up to 50 dollars if you're getting uh doll clothes in you know go through them and look there's certain clothes that are mail aways it's the same with gi joe's it's the same with a lot of uh, Star Wars. There's a lot of mail away products you have to keep an eye out for. Some of them were very prevalent. The stuff that came in cereal boxes, there was a lot of them made, sometimes more than was actually produced to, to actually sell. They're not worth that much, but a lot of the mail away stuff uh, is really, really good, especially at GI Joe. So this is a short video. We just, we just wanted to go into some stuff that you want to keep an eye out. The reason why it's so short, you can see, again, we're in total chaos. A lot of collections have been coming through and I don't know how to say no. So it's a problem, but it's not a bad problem. So we have a ton of comics and we have a ton of toys that came in and we're trying to get it all up on eBay. By the way, if you didn't, you know, if, if you thought that was cool, um, I know I'm going to go out of frame real quick. We've got about five or six of them that came in in one collection. I, you know, another good thing to buy from is uh, when you're looking for, uh, when you're purchasing, it's great from a guy who's getting out of the reseller game. They've tried to sell at home. They've went out and found all this stuff, brought it to one place, and then they bring it to you because, listen, reselling's not easy. I mean, that people think, you know, during COVID, flipping comics was real easy. It's about to get really hard. So chin up, you'll do all right. Just go out there, keep reading comics, and open a comic store.